number five. Shortstop, number 13. The first baseman, number four. Batting the right fielder, 
number eight. Now we're ready, maybe. Grady Austin steps in. Maybe we got some audio. Oh, there's the audio. Good deal. Men at the corners. 1-1. One, one. Two outs. Ben and Travis able to score some runs here. Make it 4-0 with two outs in the bottom of the first. This is a rematch of preseason tournament in which the Crimson Tide took the preseason trophy from the Ben and Travis nope. Echoes. Rick Bond, starting pitcher, number 99, takes strike number one, a 1-1 one, one count, two outs, runners on first and second. That's going to be ball two off the mark. That's down the pike, too far out in front. It's going to be a long foul ball on the left line. Late strike, strikeout for Rick Bond. Not before the Echoes take a 4-0 lead into the top of the second. Jamie Mahoney, the third baseman, 205 average for the year, three home runs, eight RBIs, facing Rick Vaughn with a 1.23 ERA. Blows that one by him, 100 miles an hour. That's a ball, 1-1. One, one. Two straight fastballs from Rick Vaughn. Got the gas. That'll be strike number two. Inside ball 2-2 two, two. to Jamie Mahoney. Rick Vaughn got a little poke, and it's going to drop. Creasy unable to get over there and make a play, and that'll be a base knock. Crimson Tide now. Schnitzel Bean, center fielder for the Crimson Tide, steps in. Uh, get something going. There's a strike, 87 miles per hour. Hope to Blake Holloman. Gonna go to second. And over first, it's a double play. Blake Holloman from third base over to second, over to first, and two outs. Now we have Blind Richards, who's the second baseman, number 22 for the Crimson Tide. At least strike number one. A fastball. Third ball for strike number two. Gets the outside corner. And there's a strikeout. That's the Friday refresh. Every other Friday, Ben Hayes hits you with a three to five minute motivation podcast. You can get all that at benatravis.com. Look for podcasts, fun singing, more button, click it. You get all of our free content right there. Bradley Capri steps in for his first, second chance to bat. He's got one home run, a 500 average of 15 RBIs. He takes three straight balls that miss the mark from Orville Jefferson. There's a strike. Three won the count. Number one, Bradley Dupree. He's the first baseman. And he's walked. So base number one, Tommy Peterson, 545, walked last time. Bradley Dupree, speedster on the base paths. Ball one, Peterson. There's a strike. Strike one, one won the count. Bradley Dupree going to try to steal, and he's in there safely. And that is a good old-fashioned dislike, steal, stolen. Good old-fashioned dislike, all fall long. Our favorite rivalry is discussed. Why we like or dislike either team when we come to a decision. Peterson's going to be frozen pizza there. I'm too busy doing sponsorships to realize what's going on. We got a man on second. Goes back, tries to pick him off. He's safely back in. That's where my hand waits the first pitch. Ball one, 606 average, three home, 16 RBIs. He's been tearing it up to begin the season here in the bottom of the second. One, one to count, one out. Bradley Dupree on second base. There's strike two, and now Will Mahan is ready. 
pop that one up. He's going to drop in. Nobody advances, unfortunately, because I'm the worst base runner in the world. Mayan gets it in. Crimson Tide going to make a pitching change. They're going to go plunge Harden. Relief pitcher, 591 ERA to face Ben Hayes, 558 at 4-0. 21 FBI. With two on, they're going to try to pick off Bradley Dupree back at second, unsuccessfully. One out. Ball one to Hayes. There'll be a strike right down the pipe. One, one, one. He's behind that one. A little smoke on that one. Should not have swung high. Out number two, two strikeouts. Not really something that happens a lot to the end. Two outs, two on. Ball number one to Blake Holloman. 357 hitter. One, one the count. Gonna pop that one up. Should have laid off of it. It was too sweet to do. And that will be out number three. Echo still lead 4 0, but they strand two. The bottom of the second. Louie Rhodes, left fielder, steps in. 43 average. Face Rick Wild Thing Bone. There's strike one. Blows it right behind. Fastball. Curve. Check swing. And strike number two. Change up. Got a little piece of that. Stays alive. Poke. That'll be a base knock. There's been a base knock for every inning so far. Turns and die just had to be able to take, turn it into points. Relief pitcher Plunge Harden steps in. First time to face Rick Bond this year. There is a bunt. Sacrifice bunt. They're going to get him over to second. Not before they get it out. Island Case with a runner in scoring the position. Number five. She's the catcher. Top of the order. Strike one. Pop up. That may get down. It is foul, thankfully. Ooh, she poked it right where it did not need to go. Change up. Hit it deep. It's going to be gone. Home run city. Gone. Sayonara, 385 feet. She goes yard on Rick Wild Thing Bond to cut the lead in half. Number 17. Facing Grover Ramsey, the right fielder. That's high. That's the mark on that fastball. That's the strike. Change up. Both. One to the count with one out. That'll be a foul ball. That's right to Bradley Dupree, thankfully. Fastball as Tua Tonga Valoa steps in, the shortstop, for the Crimson Tide. It's a 295 hitter. Piece of that right at Blake Holloman, and it will do him just as well to get that two uh, out. So it's 4 2 to get to the third out, but not before the Crimson Tide cut the lead in half in the bottom of the third. Yours truly, number 83, Travis Priestley, takes strike one. Strike two. Gonna hit that one a ton. It's going to get out there for a base knock for Travis. Creasy starting us off strong. Bottom of the third. Right, middle Daniel Creasy steps in. 362 average. Strike number one. Creasy trying to get the steal on. He's able to get in there. He's safe at second for another stolen base. 1-1 one, one to count. I'm going to try to keep him on. 1-1 one, one to count. Daniel Priestley goes low to get that one. He's unable to beat him out the first, but he does advance. There's truly the third base. Brady Austin, catcher, one for one, a single. It led to an RBI, trying to get another one in. That's strike number one to the backup catcher, Brady Austin. One, one the count, one out. I hit that one. That was 
right down the pipe. Nice lick. Austin on a tear and gets another RBI to put the Echoes back up. A, another run, three runs. Five to two is the score. Brady Austin not really a threat to steal. Rick Vaughn steps in and takes ball two. I really like for him to go the distance all the way if possible. It's going to be an out from Tua right at Tua Tunga. What a hard hit. Bradley Dupree starts off the lineup again. 500 average. Doing some damage today. It's the first baseman. Two outs. One on. Two straight. That missed the mark. 2-0. All three. And Harden throws a strike there to make it 3-1 with two outs. Dupree all over that one. The base knock. 5-2, two, two on with Tommy Peterson stepping up. Struck out last time. Was doing all the sponsorship reads. And just let him get frozen pizza. That was a terrible pitch for me to swing at. But I did it anyways. Out number three ends the threat. Geist Bruno steps in. So. Oak going to go foul for the Crimson Tide. Right Those one by him, fastball. Little Hope staying alone. Strike three. That's brought to you by the Friday Refresh. The third baseman. 35 minute motivational podcast every other Friday. Survival episode out this past Friday. Another K. Strike one. Blows it by. A little of a pass midway in this game. Whips in. That's another Friday refresh. Great five minute podcast. Motivational podcast for Ben A's to you in your ears. Every other Friday. Check it out, benandtravis.com. Top of the page, podcast, fun sing, and more. All free content. Strike two. If hard, run right at Ben Hayes. He's going to go over to first base for an easy out. And that's three. We head to the bottom of the fourth with Ben and Travis. Starting off with Will Mayan. He's two for two with two singles. He's on a tear. He's 618 average. Three and 16 RBIs. That's strike number one. Inside. Ball one, one, one. There's another strike. And now Will's ready. One, two, the count. Goes down, stays alive. Battling on the Hitting them hard. Little slow pitches. There's another ball. Ball 2-2. Two, two. Hit that one. Probably should have laid off of it. But it is out number one in the bottom of the fourth. Ben Hayes steps in. He's 0 for 2 today. Crimson Tide going to make a change. Miles Portillo steps in with a 0 ERA. 11 Ks. He's not feeling right out there. And there's strike number one to Ben Hayes. That's a bit outside. Hayes pops it over. It's going to make it through. A little, little poke there that the second baseman was unable to handle. As Blake Holland steps in, he's got a walk. He's 0 for 1, but he does have an RBI. All 1. Check Mr. Hayes over there. Make sure he's staying on the first base. The pitch out ball number 2. There's a strike to Mr. Holloman. He's going to steal, going for second. He's going to get in there safely. That's brought to you by the good old-fashioned Dislike Podcast. All throughout baseball season. Holloman, oh, close to going yard. It is to the warning track. He's going to turn that into a double and get him another RBI. Blake Holloman on the upswing here. It's Ben Hayes across the plate, makes it 6-2. Echoes over the Crimson Tide on the double. That's strike number one. Travis Creasy left fielder, number 83. 
One one to count, one out. That will give him two strikes, and now he's ready. Pop that one up. Oh, Holloman in safe. Right, thanks to a botch by the third baseman having all kinds of hard times fielding out there for the Crimson Tide. Strike number one. Daniel Creasy and Travis is off the race. He's going to be in there easy at second. Second and third scoring position as Daniel Creasy takes strike number two. Now, hit that one hard. And get the guy, get Travis coming over. Oh no, he sent Holloman back. He should have scored. Oh man. I'm not the greatest base runner. It's this game just yet. Strike number one. Stay in second place. It's safe. It's again, runners in second and third. I'm going to get one run due to my ignorance on base running with this controller. But it's enough to make it 6 2. The echoes over the Crimson Tide. Blind Richard steps in to seek a battle with Rick Bone. It's a strike. High and close. Changed up. Be a base nod. Crimson Tide. Haven't had a problem really getting on base today. Louis Rose, left fielder. Just brought the gas. On stops playing around, just brings the gas, strikes. Miles Patillo gonna be replaced by Kaysen Vincen Vincenzo. Catcher. One on for the Crimson Tide. He's gonna foul that one back. Set up. Holloman over tracking. Oh, I'm un un unable to get over there and get it. Two strikes, one out, one on for the Crimson Tide, and that's going to be another Friday refresh strikeout. Three or five minute motivational podcast every other Friday. My favorite podcast provider. Strike number one against Mylon Case. First, bat first batter. She's the catcher for the Crimson Tide. A piece of that pops it up. Will it stay fair? May not matter. Hayes over for the out. And that's out number three. Sends us to the bottom of the six. Donovan Conway will step on the mound for the Crimson Tide and face Rick Bum, who has a 6 2 lead over the Crimson Tide. Ball one. There's a strike. One one again. On Mahoney dive and catch. Didn't necessarily have to dive, but he did for finesse. He's over for the out. Dupree steps in. Two for two today. Start us off with a double with the first pitch from the Crimson Tide. Two over the count. Could have hit that a ton. Get another base knock. He'll be three for three on the day. Here we are, bottom of the fifth. The Echoes lead. Six to two. With Tommy Peterson taking strike number one from the Crimson Tide pitcher. Three's off for the races again, and he'll be safe again. Another still, the good old fashioned dislike podcast. It's a football podcast. Out in the fall, Mondays before the big games. Break down the rival. See the panel with dislike. Right, step week. Oh, he squatted that one. That's going to not be coming back. That's a home run. Uh, helping healing humor with Ben and Travis podcast. Mental health of a Christian perspective. Tommy Peterson goes yard for his first home run of the season and 17th RBI. 395 feet. The Triple H pod got every Tuesday.
Strike one to Will Mayhem. One one the count, eight two. Ben and Travis lead, he gets that in a ton really high, and yes, Bean will track it down for an out. Ben Hayes steps in, he's one for three with a single, two outs. 8-2 lead for the Ben and Travis Eckens. You get that a ton, off the wall, gonna bounce right to the center fielder and keep Ben from making a double. Getting a double, but one of will take it, base knock. Blake Allman strides in, 364. He has a double, a walk, with two RBIs. And two outs. We'll see how it goes. That's ball number one. From Donovan Conway. There's a strike. Hey, he's going to tempt fate, go to second, and he's in there safe by a mile. 2 1. Ben Hayes on second base, going position. Holloman hits that one a ton. It's not going to be enough for the warning track. They're just in front and be out in three, but not before Ben and Travis does damage. Two run home run from Tommy Peterson. Grover Ramsey steps in. Face Rick Bond again. Foul ball. Strike gas, but a foul ball. Two strikes. Struck him out. Another Friday refresh strikeout brought to you. Friday refresh podcast. Three to five minute motivational podcast every other Friday. Tua Tonga Valoa, Crimson Tide Legend, steps in and takes ball one. That'll be strike one. One one to count. Two a uh, one two. That's another strike and miss for Tua. And strike three, another strikeout. Friday refresh. 35 minute mo motivational podcast every other Friday. Check out the newest episode, Survival. Came out Friday. Strike one to Geist Bruno. Strike two. A little frozen here. One, two, the count. Pop up. Pop up. Pop up. Fighting. All kinds of foul balls here. Frozen pizza. Another strikeout. He strikes out the side. The Friday refresh. Dude, business. Three to five month, minute motivational podcast every other Friday. Subscribe, rate, give us five stars, leave us a review. Hey, uh, Greasy takes strike one to start the bottom of the sixth. Frank down the third baseline. Greasy's going to try to turn this into two. He is low around the bases. And he's safe for a double. 8 2. Daniel Greasy, one for three with a single. He's got an RBI. 8 2 the count. Greasy jumps all over that one. Terrible base run. Stealing bases left and right to get old fashioned dislike podcast. Nice stab by Geist Brunin for out number two, but it does advance the runner at two third. Rick Vaughn steps in. Cranks that one hard right at second base. It'll be over for the out. A strand, a runner on third. As we head to the top at seventh. Friends and Tad's last opportunity. Popped up. Whiffed him. A Friday refresh. Now, I mean, that's that's a center Schnitzel Bean, center fielder. Strike 
strike one. Foul ball. Strike two. Frozen pizza, ladies and gentlemen. He's feeling it. Feeling it. Kind of Friday refresh strikeouts coming at you hard and fast. Frozen Pizza to end the game. That is your winner. The Ben and Travis Echoes take the game, get a little revenge for the preseason tournament with an 8-2 victory. Rick Bond, seven innings pitch, five hits allowed, two earned runs, 14 strikeouts. He gave up one home run and moves to 4-0 on the year. Orville Jefferson going to take that L. Move to 0-3. Rick Bond is your MVP, followed by Bradley Dupree, three for three, a double. Two runs, two stolen bases, and then Tommy Peterson, who went yard for two RBIs. Your Ben and Travis Echoes lead the Real Deal Division of the National Conference, 14-0. They're at a two-and-a-half game lead on SWAT, depending on the outcome of this next game. They beat the Goon Patrol. Move it's two games behind, followed by Viola Venom, Trash Pandas, and Sox. Echoes lead 14-0. Sox take the lead for the win over the Pangas. Still in the bottom of the basement of the real good division. Baltimore Ravens lead the pro division of the National Conference with the office leading the Intercontinental Conference 11 3. TV division in the Georgia leading the SEC division 9 and 5. Your next game will be the Ben and Travis Echoes taking on the Seattle Supersonics with Gary Payton and Sean Kemp. We'll see you then. Until then, take it easy.